San Francisco's main tourist attractions, sightseeing, hot spots, and things to do. One of the most picturesque cities in the country and the crown jewel of Northern California is San Francisco, which is connected to the mainland by the Golden Gate Bridge. San Francisco is a city rich in history, beautiful neighborhoods, parks, beaches, museums, and a wide range of activities and entertainment choices. Alcatraz Island and Fisherman's Wharf are two of the most well-known landmarks, although there are many other places to see. The largest Chinatown of its kind in North America is in San Francisco, which is well worth a visit. Take a ride on one of the city's vintage cable cars for an exciting experience. Let's take a tour to beautiful San Francisco. One of San Francisco's most famous tourist destinations is Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf is one of the best spots if you're visiting the city for the first time and only have a day or two to explore the sights. This historic neighborhood, originally known as Little Italy in San Francisco, is well known for its stores, eateries, and picturesque waterfront location. From Pier 39, there are spectacular views of the city. It's a nice area to explore on foot and get a feel for the city. You may arrange a fishing charter or go on a sightseeing cruise for stunning city views. Girardelli Square is located in the Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood and is surrounded by stores, galleries, and restaurants in restored industrial buildings. The square was established in 1964 and was the first of several initiatives to revitalize deserted industrial complexes. Girardelli's former red brick chocolate factory has been transformed into a destination for people looking to shop, enjoy the arts, or enjoy a delicious meal. This is a terrific location for chocolate enthusiasts who wish to try some delights. Its belfry, constructed in 1916, is based on the one at the French Chateau of Beauvoir. Later additions include terraces and lovely views and rose gardens with fountains. Some of the most fabulous places in the city to visit sea lions are at the docks by Pier 39, Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum, Musée Mécanique, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and Girardelli Square are a few of the area's top sites. At the Hyde Street Pier, now the San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park, restored ships from the 19th and 20th centuries line the waterfront. The San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park includes the World War II submarine USS Pampanito, a national historic property. In this approximate area, Pier 39 is home to more than 50 shops and distinctive dining establishments. The California Palace of the Legion of Honor is San Francisco's most gorgeous museum. Housed in an extraordinary neoclassical Beaux Arts edifice in an incredible setting, the socialite, philanthropist, and supporter of the arts, Alma de Bretville Spreckles, gave the Legion of Honor as a gift. The museum was built to look exactly like the Parisian Palais de la Légion d'Honneur because of her love of all things French. A fantastic collection of European decorative arts, sculptures, and paintings, as well as artifacts from the Near East and the Mediterranean, may be found at the Legion of Honor Museum. The de Young Museum is also free to enter with this museum ticket on the same day. The museum is located in Lincoln Park, a stunning outdoor area with a golf course and coastal woodlands that are perfect for a stroll. Visitors can follow the Lincoln Highway Trail outside the museum, which offers stunning ocean views and ideal perspectives of the Golden Gate Bridge. The Land's End Trail is for those looking for a more challenging hike. This winding walk along a cliffside in untamed rough terrain gives panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean and the Golden Gate Bridge. Another of the best San Francisco attractions is Alcatraz Island. Midway through the 1850s, a U.S. military fort was built on the current site of this historic jail complex. It was converted into a military prison in the early 1900s. Finally, a federal maximum security prison was established there in 1934. Many of the prisoners who served time on The Rock will be familiar to you. Al Capone, Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz, and Machine Gun Kelly are among the most prominent. As Alcatraz closed its doors in 1963, the final federal prisoner left the facility. The island began offering excursions to the general public in 1973, a boat ride to and from the island, a self-guided audio tour of the main prison complex, and the opportunity to tour additional buildings are all included in each Alcatraz admission ticket. I suggest blocking off a few hours for this journey. Additionally, since you want to have as much time as possible to tour the entire island, 
I advise purchasing tickets so that your excursion departs as early as feasible. San Francisco may be a busy city, but that doesn't mean you should pass up on the opportunity to see its breathtaking natural surroundings. You shouldn't miss a tour to Muir Woods to see the renowned redwood trees and wonderfully lovely blooms. If you prefer a more outdoorsy experience, you may spend a lot of time hiking through the forest. What makes this forest so magnificent is the height of the redwood trees, which are relatives to the sequoias in the Sierra Nevada. 554 acres of glorious coastal redwood trees, many of which are up to 800 years old and over 200 feet tall, will be visible to you. Another of San Francisco's top family attractions, the Exploratorium, is an insanely popular natural history museum with displays for children and adults to enjoy. Many exciting exhibits cover a wide range of topics, including hands-on learning opportunities, all meant to inform and amuse. Youngsters frequently praise the Exploratorium for its wide variety of experiments and entertaining activities, and most adults agree, whether they are parents or not. Across the Golden Gate Bridge from downtown San Francisco lies a sizable natural area known as the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, which should not be confused with Golden Gate Park. A certified biosphere reserve, this 600-square-mile area in Marin County is also home to various attractions. Simply put, it's a lovely spot to unwind and appreciate nature. The park features attractive beach sections, walking trails, camping, and picnic spaces. The Golden Gate Bridge can be seen beautifully from a few beaches. The park is also a historical location and the site of Old Fort Baker, an early 20th century U.S. Army post. While visiting the city, enjoy a baseball game at Oracle Park, the San Francisco Giants home field. Purchase tickets behind first, third, or home plate if you want to see out over the baseball field to breathtaking views of the ocean. Consider taking a 90-minute ballpark tour if you cannot attend a game to get a behind-the-scenes look at areas often off limits to visitors. You can examine the architecture and discover the historical events here. Check on the online calendar in advance as tours are not offered every day and are scheduled around games. Napa Valley and Sonoma Valley are the two best known and largest grape growing regions in California. San Francisco may be reached in around one and a half hours from there. Many visitors make day trips to this area to take in the landscape and stop at some of the landmarks. Napa is one of the most significant Californian towns north of San Francisco and is located at the southern end of the same named valley, about 52 miles from San Francisco. This region is gorgeous and has a drier climate than coastal areas. It was established in 1848 and was given the long-extinct Napa Indians name. The Napa Mountains define the western border. Napa County's eastern border is formed by the Howell Mountains, which help shield the valley from storms. Where to stay in San Francisco for sightseeing? The best area to stay if you want to visit San Francisco's main tourist attractions is close to Union Square. This area has several posh stores, eateries, galleries, theaters, and hotels. Since Union Square is a major transportation center and San Francisco's famed Chinatown is nearby, it's simple to get farther away to other sites by cable car, bus, BART, or taxi. The Four Seasons Hotel San Francisco at Embarcadero in the financial area is one of the city's best hotels and is only a 12-minute stroll from Union Square. It offers stunning views of San Francisco Bay and the city skyline. In the city, the chain has two properties. The second, the Four Seasons Hotel, is close to Union Station and offers the services and extras for which it is renowned. If you want accommodations with a more traditional feel, think about the Ritz-Carlton. It's a feast for the senses, housed in an old colonnaded structure in affluent Knob Hill. From this, we learned that it's one of the best locations to travel to and spend a holiday. Please give it a like and share it with your friends. For more information about these and other exotic locations, visit our channel. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notified when we upload something new. We appreciate your interest in Juno Travels. Thank <music> you.